I am back in business for another readathon. So this time I am going to be doing the Femme Fantail readathon, which goes from the 18th of August to the 25th of August. So it's coming up pretty quick, and I'm going to try and be a bit more realistic because I'm pretty sure the last readathon I did <laughs> was very short and I was way too ambitious. So I think I've gone a bit more chill this time with how many books I want to read, but also I've picked some shorter ones, and if I don't finish them all, ah well. So basically, for the Femme Fan Tale Readathon, the name of the game is to read fantasy books written by female authors. So, in case you didn't know, for a long time fantasy was a very like male-dominated genre, which has kind of changed lately. Like, <laughs> especially in YA, that's a lot of what I read. There is plenty, plenty fantasy by female authors. So it's just a celebration of the wonderful stories that women can come up with. There is also a bingo chart if you want to try and go for a bingo. And I have managed to do get bingo on every, like pretty much every square of the bingo chart I've got. This is the bingo chart. Okay, so. I'm um, we'll just go through. I have doubled up with a lot of these. Obviously, I'm not going to read. How many is it? 12 books. That's not my capabilities. And no, it's not happening. Alright, so the first prompt is to read a queer book. So, you know, with queer LGBTQIA characters. And for this prompt, I have chosen Girls of Paper and Fire. This caught my eye a while ago because the cover is just so pretty. But apparently it's really good reviews and it just sounds like a really kind of messed up interesting story so <laughs> even in the beginning before the story starts there is like a trigger warning and kind of helpline resources so I'm not really bothered by traumatic things in books but if that's something that bothers you maybe just like check up about that it's about like concubines and sexual abuse, and there's like a female-female relationship, which is the main point of this prompt. The next is to read a middle grade book. So this one is actually a reread for me, and that is Rowan of Wren by Emily Rodder, and it is teeny teeny tiny. So I read this back when I was, I want to say, 11, and I remember really enjoying it. I remember this was kind of one of the first books that I could really envision the world like I really felt like I was there and so this is a series I remember because I liked it so much I tried to find the other books and I read one other one but I have no idea which one in the series it was it was just a random one I only picked these up to own a little while ago so I plan to jump back into Emily Rodder and she's also an Australian author I'm fairly sure check that fact check that me and yeah yes this is very doable. The next prompt is a retelling. And for a retelling I have chosen Circe by Madeline Miller because I like Greek mythology and everybody loves the crap out of this book. And it's shiny. So I lied. I might not be doing all of the things because another one is multiple points of view which I don't know if any of these have multiple points of view but let me check real quick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't, but oh well, I can sit that one out. Or if I manage to finish really quickly, I'll just, that'll be my bonus book. And I'll find something on my shelf. For a standalone, as the next prompt, Cersei, again, we're recycling. Next is un under 150 pages, and my girl Emily's got my back here. This is 138 pages, so... There we go. Oh, next is a BAME author. It's an acronym. B-A-M-E. Black, Asian and Minority Ethnic. So for that one I am picking up Angel Fool by Susan E. She is an Asian author. Also this is something that I wanted to read for a while. I remember back, <laughs> who knows how long ago, Christine over at Poland Bernard's Books like raved about this. And it's been a while since I've read an Angel-eccentric -like book. And I've enjoyed a few of them, so it's not too long. It seems like it's going to be, like, really action-packed. So, yes. It's like end-of-the-world angels 
rescue. For a sequel, I have chosen the second book in the Rowan of Rin series, which is Rowan and the Travelers. So I'm probably going to just like marathon this series. That'll probably be my bonus books if I don't finish these. I'll probably save these till the end of the readathon, just because like I can finish both of these in a day. That I can say with confidence. Published pre-2000, we have Rowan of Rin again, set in a different country, Cersei, I'm, I don't live in Greece, YA, we have Angel Fall, and we also have Girls of Paper and Fire, and then Adult, we have Cersei. So, I'm pretty happy with my selection. Here is the stock of the books that I will be reading in a week, I really hope. August has been a slow month for me, been reading some big books, and yeah. So was, I found it really hard to actually pick what books I wanted to pick for this readathon just because I have so many and a lot of them are series so I've, I'm kind of holding off until I can just binge it because I don't want to just pick a series and read it for the readathon especially if it's a long series or you know I might not get into it like I still have Court of Thorns and Roses series which I think I just need to read back to back to back because I love Throne of Glass and I just don't think that it's going to work for a readathon. And the other one is Shadow and Bone, which, you know, that's five books. And if I'm just not grooving with it, I don't want to be stuck with it for that long. As well as The Cruel Prince. Those are like my other like top ones that I'm really wanting to read, but I just haven't because I know it's a bit of a commitment. And there's just so much hype that I really hope I like it. Please let me know if you're joining in with the Femme Fan Tale Readathon. I will link the announcement video down below. And let me know your thoughts on these books. Or just your favourite fantasy books by female authors. Okay, bye.